everybody. Uh, today I'm going to show you um, different types of grips uh, when throwing a disc in disc golf. And um, there's, it mainly matters on what's most comfortable with you. Um, I'm just going to go through the standard like backhand grips and you know, a few forehand grips also. Um, so the one um, players mostly throw is just a four finger power grip when they throw backhanded. So that's when you put all four fingers, basically just like grabbing a disc when you pick it up. Put all four fingers, um, the pads on the tips here, right under, right under the rim there, and then a uh, thumb on top like this. And that's just your stand. Oh, camera's wobbly. That's just your standard um, power grip. Now the key with this though is um, pushing down. You see this muscle right here under your thumb. You want to push down with that on the disc because that's going to um, give you a little bit more distance with the shot. You don't want to push down with your thumb as much because um, it won't be as controllable. Uh, or it doesn't do a whole lot for you anyway. Um, but that's the four finger power grip. Next um, is a grip Ken Climo uses a lot and Dave Felberg will use it. Um, it's where you do the power grip and then you stick out sort it's sort of like a fan grip you stick out your middle finger and your uh, ring finger like this and you kinda tuck that real close to your pinky and um, it's, I don't personally don't really like it much I've tried it a few times and it's just not my thing but it looks like that and um, I think it gives them a little more accuracy and uh, with the same amount of distance to it um, but people call that the King Climo grip. Uh, next, um, when I first started playing, I used a uh, more of a control grip. That's when I had one finger out up here on the um, on the uh, rim of the disc, and the rest of my fingers, the three fingers down here, were down here, just some more of a power grip. And this gave me more accuracy. Um, because I could not throw for the life of me with all four fingers down there at first. But all right now I just use the four finger grip. Um, but one finger out will give you a lot more control. Uh, not the same amount of distance, but it will um, work for you the best that way. Uh, next is for sidearms. Um, I'm just going to show you right handed because it's easier with the camera. Um, but I'm a lefty anyway. Uh, for a sidearm throw, there's really only two types of grips most people use. One is a split. It's where you put your middle finger down here on the inside rim where the uh, flight plate in the rim is. And your uh, index finger pointing straight up toward the middle on the flight plate. That is more for um, control and for closer range uh, shots like mid-ranges or even putter approaches. Um, I don't really like it as much. Uh, I don't even throw a sidearm as uh, often anyway. Um, but when I do, when I do throw a sidearm shot, I'll use the um, it's called the distance uh, sidearm grip. That's when you have um, you put your middle finger down here like this, and instead of having your index finger up, you bring it down, um, stacked on top, or I even put my um, index finger underneath it kind of up against it like that um, you'll see how my finger let's try to get a good angle on this my finger kind of arches back or my index finger does um, you can also push it back up like that either way works um, but this is gets you a little more distance than the uh, split finger um, so that's all I really have about grips. You, oh, also with tomahawks and thumbers. Here are the thumber grip. Um, you put your thumb underneath, obviously, and two fingers on top. Not necessarily like the split finger way up here like this, but just enough where you can grip it easily. And then you throw it. Um, but for tomahawks, you can use uh, any sidearm grip, and you just throw it um, straight up and down or off, off to a little. Uh, angle like this. Um, but that's all the grips um, you really need to know and uh, can make you more successful. Um, so thanks for watching and I hope it helped and uh, we'll see you next time.